All right, Shalom. First off, you want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So we just back making another brief lesson, and we just pretty much going to just roll in the spirit. And um, the scripture I was going to start with is basically going into how, like, when you making, you trying to basically um get away from doing the wickedness because you're coming out of the world you basically become a prey now that you're trying to come out of the world because now satan is attacking you he attacks you through people he attacks you through you know your car or whatever but once you're trying to when you're trying to do right basically that's when more hell comes upon you because now you're trying to go through the straight gate you know the gate that leads to salvation and satan doesn't want want you to do that all right, so this is Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, true felleth, and he that departeth from evil making it, maketh himself a prey. And that's basically what it is. When you depart from evil, you, you become a prey. And who, why is that, man? Because Satan doesn't want you to, he doesn't want you to win, man. He wants you to just throw in a towel. He wants you to, he wants you to come back to him. Because you, you're trying to leave, you try to leave off the world, you know, put off the old man and became a new man when you came in the truth. And Satan basically wants you to forsake all of that and go back to him, because he's he's the type of he's the type of person that accepts you. You can go off and do whatever. He always come back to Satan. He'll always let you come back. Mm -hmm. All right, but it ain't it ain't like that with the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You you leave off, man. You ain't no coming back, man. That's why Satan. That's and that's why you're here pray, man. Because it's you only get one chance with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's it. And you and you, just, yeah, you wouldn't. I wouldn't want to play around with that. That one chance you do have, man. Cause the guys that have another opportunity after like being um put on uh, a probation or you know got to ki um get kicked out and they come back in it that's like how many guys really do that go out and they come back in it's slim to none really so you can't really be playing around that's why you're a prey man and that's why uh you're a prey because you you're departing from the ways of evil you're trying to do righteousness man and and everybody in the spirit of satan really hates that that you're trying to, you're not trying to go his way, the broad way that's leading to destruction. You're trying to go the straight gate, which is going to lead to life. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, I'm continuing on. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And that's right, man. It's not, it's not any judgment in this land, man. All right, you got people that hate us for doing righteous works, man. And, and wickedness is prospering in this society, man. And there's no judgment against it. Nobody, who else is saying anything against all the wickedness in this society other than the man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man? It's no one, all right? And that's why the main reason we're praying, man. We're the only ones condemning all the wickedness that's going on in this place, man. We out in the highways and byways. You got people that say we're the most hateful group in America. You got, you got pedophiles and everything, trannies and everything else out here, but we're the most hateful group. Just because we're... We're telling you, we're crying, sighing and crying because of the lack of judgment in this land. Mm -hmm. You had a precept? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. It's like, yeah. Let me, let me grab it. This is um, the book. This is the book of Amos chapter uh, 5, verse 10. They hate him. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speak that speaketh uprightly. Yeah, they 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 hate him that rebuke of Finnegate, man. That's why they hate us, man. Yep. People give us nasty looks and shit. But you can they'll look at a tranny a tranny and smile. You'll look at an Edomite and smile, look at a goddamn a heathen and smile, the cops that blow you niggas away. You'll look at them and smile, but you look at us with hate, man. Yep. Because we rebuking you niggas, man, because you're not right. You got the spirit of Satan on you. All right, and they abhor us because we speak up rightly. That's why people don't really like um, people. A lot of people that don't um, don't be like to be around us is because of our views, our upright views, man. We speak up rightly. We're not gonna sit there and act like some shit is cool if it's, if, go, if you somebody's saying some shit that's off to us. We're like, nah, man, like that shit ain't cool. Yeah. And they people they don't want to be around that, man. When people when you know you talking to somebody in the world, they're like, hey, man, you smoke. You do you do you do drugs? You do this and that. You used to be like, no, I don't, I, I don't do all that, bro. I, I ain't into that. And, that. You t and then you start saying that you what you into looking in the news or reading and this and that. Then they they don't want to be around you because you got a, too much of a so-called positive vibration, man. Mm -hmm. And they're they're negative, all right. So they don't, they the people abhor you abhor you as well, man, because of that. Yep. Because basically all these um all these people here these are are evil, you know. So what? It, we're we're pretty much out there condemning them, 
with the scriptures, man. We're we're speaking contrary to their to the death style that they're that they're uh, uh, living, pretty much. You know, because it's not a, it's not a real life lifestyle. It's not life. All the road, all the paths that these people are taking, is is uh, leads to death, man. It's the broad way. As this brother was mentioning earlier about the narrow path. You know, about about um um not following the ways of this world, and ultimately what coming against this world as this world comes against us, man, because this world is is against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and us us embodying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in his spirit, they they in turn, what, come against us, hate us, okay, because they, what, because they, uh, they're vessels for Satan, you know, ultimately, uh, this is, uh, you have something? I got it, you got it. St. John 15, 18, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you, you know, Yep, so, and you, the uh, the server is no greater than the master. So yep. just like the world hated Yahweh Shai, man, they they hate us because we coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's why it says if, if the if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Mm -hmm. So we gonna it's gonna hate us as well, man. All right, because we're not of the world. Just like Yahweh Shai wasn't of the world. Everybody hate that. Everybody hates us because of that. They look at us. They see that glow. They see that. They see the difference in us in our walk and our countenance, man. Yep. And that's what really makes them mad, because everybody else is they in a through state or their countenance is through, and they have a, a through mentality. But then when they come across men, Yahweh uh, Yahweh Shai, they they mad at that because we we actually we know that we're greater than everybody on this earth, man. Yep. And we know that we we're meant to be in high positions, mm -hmm. not not a no low level shit, and we carry ourselves as such, mm -hmm. and that's why everybody be mad. It's not like we just walk around, you know, being like cocky or something, talking in the gang and shit. No, we just carry ourselves like we're we're uh, we're, we're holy men, separate man, because we are separate. All these people in this world, man, they're they're dirty. They're 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 uh, they're they're uh, defiled, man. Uh, you can keep going. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, if we was of the world, the world would love us, man. If we was out there doing committing adultery, smoking blunts, <laughs> doing. You know, shaving our beard. Yeah, the spirit. You know, yep. out here just chucking and jiving and doing all type of folly and madness. Yeah. Everybody would love us. They'll like, they'll kick it with us tough. Like, hey man, let's go. Let's take a trip. Let's go. Go do this. Yeah, go do that. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody would be trying to be with us hella tough. But since we're not doing that, man, they don't. They don't want to be around us like that, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because if you was acceptable, if you like everybody else in the world and just accepting to everything, man, everybody's cool with you. Mm -hmm. All right, you can keep going. Yep. Says, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah, and that's why they hate us, cause they they know that they can look at us and see that we were chosen, man. They don't know what it was for. Like we was meant talking to the uh, the other brother you call um, when when people look at us, they see brothers like in a group or together. They always think that we do something high level. Like, oh, y'all must be. I must play some sports. You must play. You must do music. You're an actor, or you're a train. You're a physical trainer, fitness trainer, or something. They think they know that we're high level just off of our appearance in itself and how we carry ourselves amongst each other, man. Because the Lord has chosen us out of the world, and they, these people see that. And and if I could add this too, when you look into the word world, it's cosmos, which which is this is is talking about what the world of Israel, you know, the, the chosen the chosen um, of the Most High. You know the Israel, the Most High, okay, the elect, all right, because the Lord cho chose a, um, a a remnant out of out of the um the whole nation of Israel, okay, sent uh to to what to to be prophets, okay, mm -hmm. to serve to to come back to Him. What we were talking about at the beginning, yep. to depart depart from iniquity and and and, and, re and repent and turn back to uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and and what condemn this place and ultimately uh shoot fight the good fight of faith, you know. That's mm -hmm. that's really what it because it's a it's a um, it's a spirit it's a spiritual battle that we're that we're uh, uh, we're involved in you know and and, and, and that opposition is going to come heavy you know like the elder brother you call always mentioned what's a um, what's a battle without opposition you know Satan you know the adversary right. he's adversarial to uh, to the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai righteousness you know <laughs> you know you want to say something bro no uh, no I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I can continue. Yeah, continue a little bit. It says, "If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But, um, but because ye are not of the world, 
but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like you were saying, um, oh, it's, it's talking the world. It's talking about Israel, mm -hmm. and that's why we like when people look at us, they'll be, they'll be like, "Oh, you look like a, a so called." To them, you know, they'll just say, "You look like a so called a, a, a nigga or a so called, you know, what Mexican, or whatever." Mm -hmm. But then they they know that you're different from the average so called yeah, black yeah. Native American and Puerto and Hispanic man. Yep. All right. That's right. Cause you were chosen and they could see that like they were like man you like you're not you look like in their mind like man you look like a this dude looks like a, a stereotypical so-called black guy native american or hispanic person mm -hmm. but then you're not when they they like come across you so they can't put their finger on it but they know you're not you're not like what they used to seeing because they know that you're chosen yeah cause they see that light like you was mentioning earlier i see they see uh yahweh by shim yahweh shai illuminating from from um within us you know all around us they see that light it told you that in Isaiah the 60th chapter, I believe. You know, yep. uh, 16 and 1. Yeah. You know. It says, Remember, remember the word that I um that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, uh, um, they will keep yours also. Yeah, since they persecuted you, I was shot. That's why they persecute us, man. Yeah. People harassing you, yeah. fucking with you. Yep. Just because they 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 a hater really yeah, really at the end of the day they hate you why do they hate you because you were chosen yep. and they wasn't and they they know they wasn't chosen man they got a you got a low level of thinking you a low level way of thinking you're not gonna go anywhere in life you're not doing anything with your life all right you're in the world and nobody even likes you mm -hmm. and we're not in the world and people we're not of the world and people love us even though we get hate we get both love and hate. All right. Mm -hmm. Yet they, the reason that they hate us and persecute us though is because we come in the same spirit of Yah as Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. They persecuted the Lord just for for doing what, man? For the right, for living a righteous lifestyle, man. And that's what why they, why they persecute us and come against us. It might not even be that person, um, per se, trying to come against you. It's the, it's the demons on them. Yeah. Because the demons in this world don't like us. They don't like what we doing. They don't like what we're about. They want to throw us. They want to throw off, throw off our vibration that we have, man. Mm -hmm. Try to fuck up your mood, make you put you in a negative mind state, put a doubt demon on you, make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. Like people that be out, when you out on the highways and byways, people are like, come on, man, you could be doing so much with your life, this and that. Hey, man, I'm still doing better than a lot of motherfuckers out here with their life, man. Yeah. All right, and I'm still serving y'all by shim y'all with shot. That's the best thing we doing with our life, man. Yeah. That's the main thing we doing. First and foremost, you know. Demons, man. Yeah, that was that was pretty uh pretty much it on that one. Uh -huh. Did you have Jake was having anything else? Uh, no, we can just end it up on that. Yeah. That was the point though. It was just a quick little point that we had because you departing from the wickedness in this in this world, man. You make yourself a prey, man. Yeah. A prey. Well, you can grab. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, I was gonna um. I'm trying to finish grab it real quick. Okay. Just thought of something. Yeah, man. It's so so the uh, I it, got it. So the opposition is going to uh, you know, it's going to continue. It's going to continue pretty much, man. That's why the scriptures say, "He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved." So you know, it's it's about um enduring. You know, maintaining his faith. Keep going. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, this first Peter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because yeah. your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're a prey, like, cause we we're trying to depart from wickedness, and then Satan is over here always on our fucking back, trying to fuck with us, mm -hmm. and devour us as a as a lion, looking for his prey, man. Yep. All right, and that's what Satan is doing, man. That's his job. Mm -hmm. He always, job. He always trying to he going to and fro, trying to fuck with you, man. Wherever you at, all right. Yep. Seeking to devour the righteous, really. Yeah, because you know? everybody else, they already, they're already just devoured. Mm -hmm. But, but the, Satan, he wants to devour people, the the men that he don't have control over, man. Yep. All right, you know, move uh, next verse. Whom resist that fast in the faith? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta resist. Okay, you know, resist them, resist them with uh, Ephesians six and ten with these scriptures, man, by putting on the full body armor. So that you can um you can fight back, 
you know, combat with these scriptures. All right. Go ahead, bro. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Yeah. All the bros are going through this, man. You know, it's a part of the spiritual hell and the spiritual battle, <laughs> you know. And, and it's, and it's, um, oh, where's my train? It's, um, um, hey, man, it's comforting that, uh, uh, to know that as well. You know, you get comforted by that, knowing that, okay, you're, you're suffering for righteousness sake and you're not the only one. Hey, Yahweh Shai went through it. The servant's not greater than the master, mm -hmm. you know? And, hey, man, it's, it's to be expected, all right? Yeah, man, it's, it's hey, man. They're not, they are, these people are already lost, all right? Satan already lost, man. You know? Okay. This place is done, okay? We have to be, uh, uh, maintain that faith, man, okay? Go ahead, all right. Oh, that was it on that. Yeah. But yeah. I am, man, that's the point. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Because you be departing from this, this society, man. And, and this place only waxing and worse and in a worse and worse, man. Yep. Wicked. And, and that's why we're we're pray because they yep. everybody's out to get us for for not wanting to be like them. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So with that, we are gonna give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, and Shalom to all the Akimat there preaching His word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.